which message mappings are you using in your SAP BI or PO system? So now I just want to preview one of the things that we are going to add to the VGAF tool that would allow you to do this for free. So the purpose of this is, is if you're doing any migration and want to understand what are the message mappings that we're using and how much are they used. That is something that previously was really difficult understanding and creating. And we have now used some of the resources we have at the VGAF really understand all of these different things. So it uh, involves three easy steps. So the first is to install the FIGAF ERT tool, synchronize, uh, connect it to your PIPO system, synchronize it. Uh, in most cases, you can actually just use your own laptop um, and your own user. And then you go into the PI monitor, export the statistic, upload it again, and then in a matter of, of minutes or whatever, uh, you will get a report that shows what are the message mapping that is in your system. So let me just show you these steps. So the first is you go to this screen and you're mapping, you decide what are the, the time frame we want. You select export to Microsoft Excel. It will create it. And then you go to the, the direct object page you have installed the ET application, you go to this, this page on it, you just simply select the Excel report here, export, and then it will start build, it will take a little while, and you can then download the report once it's generated. What does the report look like? So here we can see all the different message mappings that you have. We'll put in a check to see if it is a Seaburger message mapping or not, because then you know if you're doing a B2B migration, this is really interesting. We would also be able to, to of these, uh, understand is it message mapping, Java mappings, ABAP, uh, ABAP XSLT. And then we have joined this with the usage. So we can see that this message mapping has been used a number of times uh, successfully. So, uh, and if we scroll all the way to the end, can see all the different message mapping we can see where they're being what message mappings are being used in which operation mappings and then towards the end here on our system we then have what are the actually the message mappings where they used is it feedback or not and we can see all the scenarios that they're playing and we can see how many times these have been executed so this is really powerful and giving you an understanding about which message you need to, to convert and what's the effort in this uh, process. So I really hope that you want to try this out on your own system. It, as I said, really simple to get started. Um, there are some limitations. We are obviously only able to get use the data in the report, uh, finding data. So you need to validate, do you have logging for your synchronous scenarios? Um, we have only tested this on 731 and above systems. So uh, if you have something older, um, let's, let's see how it works. Um, one limitation is that if you have multiple scenarios, uh, an ICO with an interface uh, receiver determination, um, then and it is using the same one for multiple or same uh, outbound interface for multiple, it may not be able to determine the correct one. So in that case, it will just count all of them. Um, and there's probably more. Let's see. Um, we're planning on releasing this in the beginning of January, so you can use it for your migration purposes. You can uh, get access directly at figup.com message mapping, uh, uh, mapping usage. Or you can get it at the FIGAF, just get the FIGAF tool, get it installed, and then you would also get information about when we have the new patch uh, ready. And then you can actually use that. Um, so I do hope that this is something that will make it easier for you to do your migration and just ensure that you are migrating the correct things. So if you like this, please share it. Go sign up. Uh, I really appreciate it. Thanks.